Welcome to Specific Love. In the last video, I introduced you to an awesome new tool that will allow you to easily bend PVC into almost any shape you desire. The only downside was the time it took to cool down the pipe so it would retain its shape. In this video, I'll show you how to make some simple forms so you can get better shapes, have more control, and make uniform projects every time. Now, if you're making a simple one-off project, a simple way to create a form is to use some plywood and nails. When using this setup, be careful not to bend the pipe too tight around the nails or it can kink the pipe. That is, unless you desire sharp edges. The next step up is to use small pieces of wood for the pipe to travel around. The wood is held with the nails. In this step, there is less likelihood of kinking the pipe. In both of these first two steps, it does take a lot of time to reshape all of the nails in wood each time you need a new design. So how do I create a forming system that is easy to make and allows a user to quickly design any shape they desire? How about some pegboard? So I went to the local hardware store and picked up a 2 foot by 4 foot pre-cut sheet. I also picked up a couple 2 by 4 by 8 pieces of wood and some 2 inch roofing nails. The pegboard by itself might work, but due to the thickness, it could benefit by being lifted off the resting surface. To do this, I am making a frame with the wood. Measuring and cutting the first board in half, provides two four foot pieces for the length of the frame. I then place the four foot boards onto the peg wood to get the measurements for the sides. These were 21 inches. I then cut the second board into the desired length and matched them up to the first two. To hold the frame together, I used a couple of screws at each corner. I then aligned the peg board on top of the frame and added a screw to each corner. Now it is time to create the forming blocks. These are just simple pieces of wood with nails in the exact locations to fit in the pegboard. I usually keep small pieces of scrap wood for projects like this, but if you do not have any, a 2x4 cut into 1.5 to 2 inch lengths should work well. To prevent splitting the blocks, it is a good idea to pre-drill the holes. So I aligned the blocks with the pegboard holes and used a marker to locate the spots. I then drilled each hole and added the nails. Make sure the nails are straight or they may not fit into the holes. It is also a good idea to have some large round blocks for creating tight turns. Mine came from an old project when I used a 4 inch hole saw. The best part about this setup is the ease and change. I can move the wood into any shape or configuration that I want. And if I do not like the result, I can quickly change it while the PVC is still hot. Now if you plan on heating up PVC, I always recommend some kind of a heavy duty breathing mask because you don't want to breathe in those fumes. Even with the tool I used in the last video, it recommends an outside area. I still would recommend a breathing mask because I could still smell some of those fumes coming off. So don't forget this. Also, this is a great form if you do anything with PVC. For like building, maybe you're in a construction, maybe you're just an artist and like doing things. You can use this form over and over again, and it's just one of the easiest ways to do all your shapes. Now, I hope you enjoyed this project, and if you did, please hit the like button, and please give me a comment below. I do read every single one of your comments, and it is the highlight of my day. So I hope you enjoyed this, and as always, have fun building.